Assalamualaikum and good day to our viewers. Today, we are going to demonstrate physical absorption between solid and liquid in this simple video. The five of us, which are Almansu Iskandar, Faiz Fikri, Muhammad Zarif, and Tukman Hafiz. And me, myself, Muhammad Afif, will demonstrate about how physical absorption occurs. Of all, what's in your mind about absorption? Theoretically, absorption is the passage of one substance into or through the bulk of another medium. The absorbed substance spreads so to <coughs> saturate the pores of the medium to form a solution. The mixing with the medium environment is so well that one fails to recognize its existence as a separate entity. When a solid absorbs a liquid mixture of part of it, a mass of liquid moves into the solid. This mass transfer takes place at the interface between the solids and liquid at a rate depending on both the solid and the liquid absorptivity. For example, pots made from certain clays are more absorbent than ceramic or glass. Absorption is essentially a molecule attaching themselves to a substance and will not be attracted from other molecule. For this video, we are going to demonstrate two simple physical absorption of solid liquid by tissues, paper, container, colored water, and some dry rice. Now, I'm going to let you to see us how we are going to do the demonstration. Okay, in this experiment, we are going to compare the absorptivity of paper and <coughs> tissue. How do we relate this to our daily life? For example, when we are cooking in the kitchen, we might accidentally spill off oil or water on the floor or table. Okay, no, normally, we are going to use a napkin to wipe off the spillage. But for, the, for an instant, if we, are, we don't have any napkin around, we are going to use a piece of paper or a tissue. Firstly, we are going to test for the paper. When we are wiping off this spillage, we can observe there are still residue of spillage on the table. This is because the pore size of the paper is sm too small for it to absorb the water. Okay. For the next part, we are going to use a piece of tissue to wipe off the residue. Okay, for this experiment, we're going to use a piece of tissue. From the previous experiment, we used A4 paper to wipe all of the water spillage. <coughs> okay, paper have more big, more smaller pores compared to tissue. Sorry, my bad. Okay, for tissue, uh, it has bigger, more pore. As we can see, when the water is spilled on the table, we wipe it. And there is no water spillage or water residue. This shows that the tissue absorbs all of the water spillage because it has more bigger pore. So, that's all from me for this experiment. For the next experiment, I will demonstrate the absorption of moisture from tissue paper by a solid absorber, which in this case is our white rice. The things that we need to run the experiment is first is container, our white rice, paper and some water. So first, we dip our tissue in water and soak it evenly. And we place it in our container with our white rice. Then we close it tight. Store the container in a dark and cold room to prevent 
any effects of evaporation by heat or sunlight. Now we leave the container for a few days. After a few days, uh, the result that we expected is the tissue will be dry. So, see, so as we can see here, this our tissue has been dry. So this proof that our experiment has successful. To conclude the both experiment conducted before, it can be concluded that physical absorption in fluid, either vapor or liquid, can occur using different solid absorption or absorbent. This absorption can affect, can be affected by pore size, amount of solid absorbent, and surface area of solid absorbent. So, that's all. Thank you from from us.